In the previous three sessions, we worked out your 12 marks problems. So whatever the problems we are discussing, all the problems are your previous year question paper problems. Bank to debenture, debenture to bank. Simple, if it is par and par, but in this you have discount also. Now, your third journal entry issued at premium. Redemption also at premium. Hello everyone, I am your other sir, lecturing with Yashram PU College, the temple of excellence. So, we are in the eighth session of your topic called Issue and Redemption of Debenture. In the previous three sessions, we worked out your 12 marks problems. As I told you, journal entries is the highlight of this 12 marks problems. Now, if you are good with journal entries, easily you can solve any number of problems. The main advantages of this topic is there is no adjustment, there is no twist or there is no any additional information. The same question will come, only amounts will change. Now, we'll do one problem in this session. This will be your question paper problem. So whatever the problems we are discussing, all the problems are your previous year question paper problems only. Now, journalize the following transactions. Now, in this what you should concentrate means issued at par and redeemable at discount. In this, you have 6%, you have 3%. Which one we should consider? Yes. Now, we should consider only 3%. Why? Because in this kind of problems, we should mention only any percentage given for discount, any percentage given for premium, we should consider. Any percentage given with debenture, we should not consider. Why? Because there is a name of the debenture. You can call it as 8% debenture, 9% debenture, 12% debenture, but those percentage we will not calculate anywhere. That will be calculated by company at the time of interest payment. For us, that burden is not there. For us, only whether it is issued or redeemed. That percentage of debenture we will not mention anywhere. This I am telling you 100 times. Why? Because commonly the students make mistake. They will consider 3% as well as 6%. Remember, again I am repeating this, this 6% debenture, it is only name of the debenture. This 6% we will not consider anywhere. Hope you understood. Now, issued at par, redeemable at discount. This will be your issue. This will be your redemption. Issue at par, redeemable at discount. This is your first one. We'll go for the second one. Issue at discount. Your second one. Issue at discount. Redeemable at par. Now, redeemable at par. And your third one. Issue at debenture at premium. Now, this will be premium and Redeemable are also at premium. So easy. All the calculations are easy. First, we'll go for these three. Then we'll go for fourth and fifth. First, we'll complete one, two, three. Then we'll go for four and five. Remember, whatever points it is given, it is not interlinked. This is separate, separate, separate. For everything, you will get two marks, two marks, two marks. 2 and 2. For your presentation and all, another 2. Total 12 marks will be awarded. Now, it is not total of everything. Individual questions are separate. Now, we'll go for the first one. Par and discount. What percent is discount? 3%. What is the value? 1 lakh. See, first you have to mention journal entries. In this particular, 
here serial number rls date these are the basic fundas you have to complete as i told you know two marks each and plus two marks will be for your presentation now bank to debenture debenture to bank simple if it is par and par but in this you have discount also to profit on redemption of debenture this will be your journal entry for your first one now this will be easy 1 lakh 1 lakh for this one 1 lakh but what is the discount 3% on 1 lakh 3 percent it will be how much 3000 1 lakh minus 3000 your answer is 97000 now i am not concentrating on journal entries why because you have the format in your fourth session of your debenture i have given you format just you have to see issued at par redemption at discount go back to your format in that see the heading in the heading they have mentioned issued at par and redemption at discount below that you have the journal entry same journal entry we have written in that session i'll give you six headings on the basis of those six headings we are doing problem that's why i don't concentrate on journal entries i concentrate only on numbers why because my responsibility is numbers your responsibility is what yes your responsibility to remember all the journal entries now i am not telling that you have to remember now itself after doing 7 8 or 10 problems automatically you will be familiar with all the journal entries now this is done we'll go for the second one second one is what issued at discount redeemable at par what is a discount discount at 10% value is 1 lakh write down the journal entry so issued discount at par issued at discount redeemable at par remember the first one is issued at par and redeemable at par while seeing the heading you have to remember these things now journal entry copy paste once if it is done 1 lakh in that 1 lakh how much is discount 10% now 1 lakh multiplied with 10% don't consider the last was 3% why it is 10% why because this is separate this one is separate now 1 lakh into 10% you will get 10000 so you have written 1 lakh 90 plus 10000 hope you understood now debenture to bank account 1 lakh and 1 lakh same thing copy paste as i told you for each heading you will get two journal entries now the third one i'll go back to your question as per the third one issued at premium redemption also at premium what is the premium percentage 10% at the time of issue 5% 5 and 10 now your third journal entry issued at premium redemption also at premium go back to your format check where the heading issued at premium and redeemed at premium under that you will get this journal entry okay now this will be your sixth in the format this is a sixth one now in this issued at premium redemption also at premium first What is the value of the debenture? I'll go back to your question. The value is how much? One lakh. Remember, whatever amount mentioned, there is a value of debenture. Value of debenture is what? One lakh. Value of debenture. One lakh. Value of debenture. One lakh. This is the first thing you have to fill. Once if it is done, what is the premium? Ten percent. 5% now 10% 5% so this will be 10% and this will be 1 lakh 5 how come you got 1 lakh 5 means first you have to write this one value of debenture calculate 5% there is a second one 
calculate 10%, there is a third one. 5% calculation, 10% calculation. Once if it is done, you have to calculate how much loss you incurred. 10% loss you incurred. Means at the time of redemption, you are giving 10% premium means you are paying out of your pocket. That is a 10,000. Now, what is the total? 1,15,000. From 1,15,000, from 1,15,000, if you minus 10,000, how much you will get? Yes, you will get 1,5,000. So this will be your answer. This you can take it as balancing figure. Later you may scratch your head that how come I got 1,5,000. Remember, Whatever working note or calculation I write, please write down in your book also so that easily you will understand how come you got 1,5,000. Hope you understood. As I told you, first you have to write this, second this one, third this one, fourth one is this one. There is a last one balancing figure. How you got the balancing figure? Add everything, you will get 1,15,000. From that you minus 10,000, you will get 1,5,000. Now, this is simple, 1,10, 1,10,000. Like like Why? Because 10% premium. On 1,10% like means you will get 1,10,000. Like this is your third journal entry. Third one is a little complicated. If you work out twice or thrice, you will understand it. First, you remember this journal entry. Later, you learn how to fill amount. Now, we'll go for the fourth journal entry. Issue one like debenture at par, redeemable at premium. Issued at par, redeemable at premium. Now, again, go back to your format, check which journal entry we should write for par and premium. That one you remember in this 10% premium, simple one. So this will be issued at par, redeemable at premium. Bank to debenture, debenture to premium with bank. Simple calculation, 1 lakh, 1 lakh, 1 lakh plus 10,000, 1 lakh, 10,000. Wherever premium comes, we have to consider 10%. How come you got 10%? 1 lakh multiplied with 10 by 100. This will be your 10% calculation. Hope you understood the fourth journal entry. Now we'll go for the fifth one. Before that, we'll go back to your question. Issue of 1 lakh debentures at discount and redeemable at premium. At the time of issue, what discount means? At the time of issue, you have given them discount. How much discount you have given? 5%. Means there is a loss of 5% to you. Why? Because you have given them discount. Discount means what? For you it is a loss. At the time of redemption, 5% premium. Means at the time of repayment, you paid 5% more. That is also loss. At the time of collection, 5% loss. At the time of repayment, again 5% loss. What is the total loss? Yes, the total loss is 5 plus 5, 10% loss. Remember this, while doing journal entry, I'll explain you what is this 10%. So just remember, at the time of issue, there is a 5% loss. At the time of repayment, again you paid more, 5% loss, 5 plus 5, 10% loss. What is the value? 1 lakh. So, your value is 1 lakh. On 1 lakh, how much is loss? 10%. So, it will be how much? 10,000. So, your value is 10,000. This is a calculation. Why I have taken 10% means both the times you are suffering loss. That's why I have to mention loss on issue of debenture is 10%. Now, this will be 5,000, your premium. So 1 lakh plus 5, how much? 1 lakh 5,000. 
minus 10,000. What is the answer? 95,000. So this will be your balancing figure. How come you got 95,000 means? From the total we deducted 10,000 so that you got 95,000. Now, once if it is done, the last one will be 1 lakh 5, 1 lakh plus 5, 1 lakh 5. Clear? These kind of problems you will get in this. No need of concepts and anything. Just number of your revisions, number of the writing. That makes you help. That makes you simple to understand this problem. I'll go back. We'll revise once. This will be first one. Par and par. Discount and par. Premium and premium. Par with premium. The last one will be discount with premium. This one. Discount with premium. So first and second. Take screenshot of this one. Take screenshot of this also. Why? Because you have all working notes. Take screenshot of this also because you have a working note. This is all about your today's session. We worked out one 12 marks problem. As I told you, try to remember all the journal entries and with calculation. Out of five entries, one or two will be little complicated. Rest of the things are simple. Why? Because the number and percentage are given in the question itself. Same thing we have to do, copy paste work. So in the next session, we'll come up with one more year 12 marks problem from your previous question paper. Thank you.